is a bit of a journey really. I'm in Australia, I've been in here for four years now. I got married to an Australian four and a half months ago now. So I'm not going anywhere, so you're stuck with yet another POM coming to these shores to learn all about you, to try and promote you to the world, and that's really what the Best Job in the World campaign was all about. That's really what everybody knows me for, but I've done a bit of stuff before that that I think was my best year of my life it was entertaining for me, it was challenging, it was all about going out there and pushing my boundaries as a person to go and experience planet Earth, to go and enjoy it, immerse myself in it, and try and get other people around the world to be a little bit inspired and a little bit motivated to go and do this sort of thing. Yeah. So that was, this is me, this is what I've done, and this is what I did. This was something I got mum to do about six months ago. These are my original school reports and I love reading them through because they're so much fun. At present, Ben's concentration span seems to be shrinking rather than growing. Consequently, his piece of work are rather short. <laughs> she did that in one sentence. Thank you, Ms. Murray. Well, indeed, I went that way. I did the right decision. I finished up at university and now I didn't know what to do because I didn't really want to be an automotive engineer. So I said to myself, okay, well, what's next? By chance, a friend of mine was working for a promotion company publicising mum champagne. So I thought, okay, there's a job offer. Could I go and do this? Between May and September in England, it's the summer, it's that lovely English summertime. So the last sports events I had the three years of saving, the five years of planning, and there was a massive vacuum in my life. What on earth can I go and do now? To challenge myself. So January the 10th, how came that advert in the world's media? Everybody knew about it, everybody saw it. 8.3 million hits that website got, and 35,000 people applied for that job. I thought I'd give it a go. Why not? It's a challenge. It was a throwaway entry, as many of these things are these days. Should I give it a go? Oh, it went down from 34,684 people to a final group of 16. Now, everybody knows the campaign. It's very famous in blue t-shirts. Very famous because Tourism Queensland marketed it so damn well because they kept one person from every one of the key tourist markets around the world in the final. Demographic, everybody thought it should lie in a hat, sitting on a beach, reading a book, doing nothing. T-shirts should say the busiest job in the world because genuinely every single day was amazing good fun, but there was so much media involvement with it. Every day running a website about my adventures, just like I've done in Africa. It was a busman's holiday, everybody thought. Well, yes, in a way, I was having adventures, I was documenting it, I was putting it on the website. But every single day, there were new people to meet from different parts of the world, take people from different countries on for meals. So we take them off, journalists from Japan, we take people from... Every Canada. day, I can walk down that same road, and I can follow it off into the distance like an African journey. I don't know what's around the corners, but whatever happens and whatever you come up against, if you can turn to the person next to you and say, shall we? Yeah, let's do it. And you come out with a positive thought, that you can take on the world, you can take on those tough decisions in life, but you can still carry them out and do them, then you're going to get a lot more out of your life. One of my best friends, Shah, was in the Asian tsunami off Ratcha Yai with two of her friends. She never made it home either. They were those points in life where they were out there having fun, having an adventure. When they didn't make it home, it was a kick in the teeth for me, but it was also a kick up the backside that I got to go out there and challenge myself and take on those tough decisions in life because you're one chance on planet Earth is literally that. All you've got is one chance to go out there and enjoy yourself, take on whatever challenges are thrown at you, and to go for it. Thank you.